Hey guys, hope you're doing good today. Now I've got some metalcore for you today. It's a while since we had some metalcore on the channel. And these three bands all sound like what I would call modern metalcore. Uh, metalcore has been around for a while now, a good 15 years or so. Um, probably a bit more than that. Come on, I'm 20 years now, I would say. Um, but anyway, it's taken, it's, it's evolved over the years. When it first came out, it's kind of kill switch engage and stuff like that. It was very metal, very heavy guitars, thick, fuzzy guitars, um, big breakdowns and washy cymbals and all that kind of stuff. And then over the years, it's evolved to be a bit more emotional, a bit more singy, a um, bit less harsh and, and kind of, you know, slamming. Um, but we still like it, still very good high quality music, always with metalcore. Um, you know, the bands, they're good high quality recordings and, and music for the most part. So let's check these bands out today and I'll stop going on. This first band is called As I May. The track is called Cure is Worse Than the Disease. So let's see what this is all about. It's like a good high quality video. Those guitars are still pretty chunky. Good washy cymbals as well. Gotta have washy cymbals in metalcore because they have those big breakdowns and it's the cymbals that fill in the sound at those times. This guy's all chained up. Pretty cool effect they've got on the video there. I guess these are a, a European band. They've got that European sound. Seems every continent has got their own kind of sound in some way, but it's quite hard to describe, but you just know it when you hear it. You know, we had that Japanese band on the other day and you could just tell, you can tell when something's European, not just from the vocals, obviously, but it's the sound of the music is European. Good drum sound. Very loud drums in the mix. Yeah, those guitars sound good when they come in. So we've got two vocalists by the looks of things. Big choruses. Again, those cymbals are creating a big wash in the high end. They've got the some piano and synths in this track as well, which is filling out the sound. We've got the different vocal effects and mixing as well. So as I say, metalcore bands always seem to have a high quality production. These guys are no different there. Everything's sitting well in the mix. Is that us done? No, not quite yet. Big chorus sound. Almost anthemic. And that seems to be the way metalcore has gone more so. It's evolved into this big anthemic sound. Singy choruses. There's used to have big breakdowns have turned it into big anthemic choruses. Big sound. Good. Well written song, high quality production, high quality video. That's what I say about these metalcore bands. Uh, you know, they're always high quality. When they get to this stage, you know, they're, they're pumping out high quality music. So yeah, good stuff. Enjoyed that one. Now we'll move on to the next band. The next band is called Cryosphere and this track is called Wolves and Kings. And uh, they've got some hashtags on here. It says uh, metalcore, melodic metal and new metal. Uh, so we'll hear what this one's all about. Sounds like they're mixing a few new styles. Apologize if you can hear drilling in the background. My neighbors are doing a bunch of DIY. A bunch of sounds going on in here already.
Nice. Nice. Again, high quality. You can hear the bass in there grinding away. Okay, so we've got another double vocalist metalcore band. Nice. We spoke about it before, when you've got a male and a female vocalist, it's always nice because you can bring the song from two perspectives at once. You know, two different ways of looking at the song at once, and then put that through the lyrics as well. It's always very cool. They've got a bit of riffage still in there as well. Oh, he's doing a bit of vocal as well, so lots of vocals in this band. Cool. Nice high quality sound to this band. A bunch of members in this band as well. Yeah, we're definitely getting the melodic. We're getting the metal core. I'm not sure so much about the, the new metal in this track yet though. Yeah, the male and the female vocalist works well in this track. They've got a nice mix together. He's obviously doing the shouting and she's bringing a softer edge to it. Nice bit of trem riffage as well now. And this guy brings in some gutturals every now and again. Yeah. I would say these guys are European as well, I'm not sure about that. But again, they seem to have that kind of Euro vibe to them. Good high quality video again. These videos don't come for free, you've got to put a decent wad of cash into something like this. Nice. Sometimes these male and female vocalists, they just don't work out because they either the tones don't fit together or the way that they work the vocal, they do like, you know, just a bit of male and then a bit of female and they kind of just take turns. And that can work, but it's it's been a bit played out as well. These guys are working it together at the same time. He's creating one tone, she's creating another tone, but they blend together quite nicely, which is nice. One thing I would say about the mix that I've noticed now as time's gone on is the, the, the main male vocalist, they've put a lot of compression on his voice is what I'm thinking, so the, the, the level of his voice is always at the same volume, and even though he's pushing it at some points a bit harder than others, it's still always at the same volume, and that's something you do need to watch out for because it just means that the vocal is a bit less dynamic um, than it can be. Let's just check out this solo. Nice tone. Nice. Yeah, good wailing tones. Yeah, that was nice. So as I was just saying though, about the compression on vocals is, when you've compressed your vocals to the point where, they, where they're, they're the same volume all the time, you lose the dynamic of the vocal. Um, so you just need to watch out for that because if you're doing parts that are louder than others or you're building it up and pushing it harder at certain points than others, you know, the, the, the sound and the, the volume of it can always be the same um, and it just, as a result, sounds a bit flat sometimes. Um, so yeah, that's just one thing to watch out for with, with putting a lot of compression on your vocal.
Nice track though, another well written track. It's got a bunch of different parts in it, a bunch of different vibes. Heavy parts, big anthemic parts. We have the solo in there as well. Yeah. Good stuff. Again, high quality production. Uh, I said it at the start, and I think we'll be right all the way through with that. Uh, these these metal core, um, yeah, metal core bands are just always high quality production. That's what you always get. Right, last up for today, uh, the band is called 40 Caliber Kiss, and this track is called Broken Home. So let's just get straight into it. Oh, this one's a bit chunkier. A bit louder as well, in your face. Now I'm noticing I've had a bit of a rant about barns and warehouses and metal vids because there's far too many. I'm noticing boxing rings might be the next contender. So we've had a few on the channel already and I'm noticing it more and more. Metal bands seem to be doing vids in boxing rings, so there you go. Just don't overdo it. Yeah, this one's way more in your face, way louder. Chunkier guitars, louder vocal. Chorus. Nice riffage and tone on the guitar. Good washy cymbals. Now I'm just listening out for the bass. It's not cutting through the mix. Good drum sound though. Time is now, it's not too late. Somewhere out there, destiny. Good vocal layering as well. Yeah, I'm still missing out for the bass. It's, it's not got its own tone in the mix. It's supporting the low end of the guitars, as far as I can hear, anyway. The drums are very loud. The vocal's nice and loud. The guitars are nice and loud. But yeah, the bass just isn't cutting through, unfortunately. Just supporting the low end of the guitars. The singer's got a good voice. He's got that metalcore voice, though, with the kind of big choruses that these bands have nowadays. So these guys are a bit more classic metalcore than the other two bands that we've had. Okay, this is where it evolved from more, and then the other two bands is where it's gone to. Yeah, these have got that, you know, classic metalcore sound. Never tried to join us, but we lost the volume as well. Nice energy to this track. Again, good high quality video. I know it's a bit of a rant that it's in a boxing ring, but it's well made, well filmed, well edited. So all the bands today have had high quality videos for us. Good guitar tone. It's got that metal core. Chunky guitars. Nice. Well, three nice bands on the channel today. I think you'll agree. If you're into metal core, yeah. You had all sorts of metal core in there today. The kind of more new school, double vocalist, um, massive choruses, anthemic choruses, um, slightly less chunky guitars and a bit more emotional. That's where it's kind of gone in the more new school metalcore. And then this last band, more harking back to the original stuff, chunky guitars, loud, in your face mix, uh, big drums and all of that. So yeah, good stuff. Nice mix of metalcore uh, on the channel today and to, you know, to hear the different spectrum that it's gone through. Good stuff. So yeah, 
I enjoyed that one. I hope you did too. We'll have more different stuff for you tomorrow. If you want to like and subscribe, go ahead. Uh, that's going to be it for today. See you. Bye.